Good morning, my dear students. In my previous class, we have done fill in the blanks, and that is chapter number four using computers, do's and don'ts. So today we will continue the same lesson and we will be doing true or false. That is on page number 37 and number B. So my dear children, are you ready to write? Very good. Now let us continue chapter number 4. Number B, write T for true or F for false. Number one, do not make noise in the computer room. Do you make noise in the computer room? No. Yes or no? So, your answer is T. That means true. We should not make noise in the computer room. And write down T. Okay? Alright. Number two. Always walk in a queue to the computer room. It means always we have to walk in a line. Yes or no? So your number two also, your answer is T. That means true. Alright? Have you finished writing? Very good. Now let us do number three. You should push the computer table. Do you push the computer table? No. Yes? So, you should push the computer table. We should not push the computer table. So, your answer is F. Which means false. Wrong. We should not push. Alright? Number four. You should always sit too close to the monitor. As in my class I have told you, we should not sit too close to the monitor. Why? Because it harms our eyes. Yes or no? So, here for number 4, you should always sit too close to the monitor. Wrong. So, what are you supposed to write? F. That means false. Okay? Now number 5. Never eat or drink near a computer. Do you eat or drink in the computer room? Or near the computer? No. Yes or no. So, you have to write the answer. Never eat or drink near a computer. Yes. That means you have to write T. Which means true. Alright. So, once again, for number 1, write down T. Your answer is T. That is true. And number 2, you write down T. And number 3, you write down F. Which means false. And number 4, you write down the answer F. False. And number 5, you write down T. That means true. Now we will do tick the right answer. Tick the right answer. Number C. Are you ready? Now I will help you to do the assignment. So along with me, take your pencil and be ready to tick the right answer. Here, number one, press the keys of the dash gently. Your options are Number A, keyboard, mouse, monitor. So we are talking about keys and your answer is keyboard. Take a pencil and along with me, take the right answer. And keyboard is the right answer. Okay. Have you finished? Very good. Number 2, you should move quietly. 
in a desk while entering the computer room. As I have always told you, you should not make noise in the computer lab. So your options are group, queue, circle. Okay? That means when you are moving quietly in the computer lab or computer room, we should always walk in line. Yes or no? Q here means line. So your answer is and the options are number A, group, number B, Q means line and C, circle and your right answer is Q which means line. You should always walk in line quietly without making noise. Yes or no? So, Number three, you should not dash in the computer room. Number A, eat or drink. Number B, read. Number C, sit straight. And which is the right answer? Number A, number B or number C? Yes, the answer is you should not Eat or drink. So are you ready to take the right answer with me? Very good. Now take the right answer. And the right answer is eat or drink. You should not eat or drink in the computer room. Okay. Now number four. Do not touch the desk of the computer when it is on. Your options are number A, monitor, number B, wires, number C, CPU. So, which one is the correct answer? You should not touch the wires. You will get electric shock if you touch when it is on. Yes or no? If you touch the wire, you may get electric shock. So, your right answer is Wires. Do not touch the wires when it is on. Okay? Now, number 5. Always take the desk of your teacher before working on a computer. You should always take the desk of your teacher before working on a computer. Number A. Help. Number B, permission. Number C, both of these. So, obviously, you have to take the permission and help from your teacher. And, and definitely, your answer is both of these. That means, we should always take the help, right? Or permission of your teacher before working on a computer. So my dear children, I'm sure you have finished taking the right answer and we'll be doing answer in one word in my next class. Alright? So, till then, keep learning and stay safe. Okay? Thank you very much.